A phased array transducer with an abdomen exam type is used to evaluate the chest cavity for the presence of fluid. The procedure is best performed with the subject in a sitting position, leaning slightly forward to allow access to the posterior chest cavity. The patient is instructed to breathe normally and the transducer is placed in a long axis orientation over the posterior chest wall at the 8th or 9th intercostal space in the posterior axillary line. The orientation marker is directed to the patient's head. The ribs are identified in the near field of the image as a bright interface with a posterior shadow. The pleural line is identified as a bright hyperechoic line between the rib shadows. The to and fro sliding movement of the visceral pleura against the parietal pleura with breathing generates the lung sliding sign. The transducer is moved along the posterior axillary line to identify the bright hyperreflective diaphragm. Fluid will appear as a dark anechoic area in the dependent area of the chest cavity. Identify the borders of the fluid collection and the normal appearing lung. A needle insertion site should be chosen in the posterior chest in a dependent area of the fluid collection. Adjust the transducer so it is located between two ribs. The needle should be inserted just below the center position of the transducer to allow the needle to pass just superior to the lower rib to avoid the neurovascular bundle which lies on the inferior surface of the rib. Follow the needle entry by slowly sliding the transducer in the direction of needle advancement. The needle will appear as a small bright hyperechoic dot. When the needle tip appears, the transducer should be advanced a short distance distally to follow the tip of the needle trajectory. The needle is slowly advanced under direct ultrasound visualization until the tip is seen to indent and then puncture the parietal pleura. The transducer should be moved slightly proximally and distally to confirm that the needle tip lies in the fluid collection in the chest cavity.